Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing the 2014 Ninjago Rebooted Thunder Raider set versus the 2020 Legacy Thunder Raider. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that I definitely prefer the 2014 version. I think that the 2020 version is living proof that bigger is not always better. So here's a better straight on view of the two. The one on the right is the one from 2020, and that is the one I like less. Although, right off the bat, I do have to say, the one thing I'll give the 2021 is I like how much detail there is around the cockpit. You know, I like those wings, I like the stickers. This one seems very plain by comparison. So, that's the one thing I'll give to the 2021. Alright, so here's the 2014 one. Again, it's using smaller treads and rubber wheels in the back, which I do like a lot better. However, it also means that these treads will kind of skip on smooth surfaces like this table. It'll work a lot better on carpet. And now the main feature of all of these Thunder Raider sets is that this part at the back just lifts off quite easily. And then it becomes a mech for coal. Now, all of the joints on this thing are a little bit stiff because this is something that I have had built since I bought it in 2014. But there you go. Now you have a mech for coal and you've got this thing for Jay. All right, this is not a full review. I have not done a full review of this set. Actually, I might have. I'm not sure. Um, like, I got this right when we moved back to the U.S., so I might have a review up from the early days on my channel, but I really like the stickers down here with like that five and then with those Ninjago letters. They use little window pieces in the feet, which I always thought was a cute building technique. And so the way that Cole sits in here is that you just open this up and then you just put the minifigure right there. I like that as well. And then I, I really like the arms. I always liked how simple the arms were because you can just move them in a couple different places. You've got that like jet like kind of engine piece in the middle. And then you just have those blades, and I really like that. Now, these shoulder armor pieces can't really move. They can just move up and down a tiny bit. But yeah, I always thought that this was just a really cute, like, tiny little mech. So here's Jay's vehicle. We already talked about how it rolls. Now, the main feature with Jay's vehicle is that you can push this part back or grab it from up here, and that'll flip open those, like, weapons. I think that's a really great look and executed much better on this one than on the new one. And inside the cockpit, you can just put Jay leaning down and he just has a printed console. But yeah, I just think that feature works a lot better than the new one. And it's just quick and it's easy. And like, it really flips open, you know, like you, like, it, you feel like stuff's like coming at you. And so I really appreciate that. Now onto the new one. I did do a full review of this so you can check it out. It uses larger treads, but they do have rubber pieces, so when you roll it, it will roll on a table. Now, the flip side of that is that these wheels won't roll as well. Right now, they're being a little bit blocked by the mech, but they're hard plastic, which means that they are just more likely to skip over the ground anyway, which is really annoying because it's like, on one, the treads won't work on a smooth surface, and then on the other, the wheels won't. Don't know why they didn't just go with rubber wheels. But again, you can remove Cole's mech comes off in pretty much the exact same way and then this one this one is a little bit more involved because you need to unclip the feet at the bottom and then you have to like flip these arms around on a ratcheted joint and as I was doing that you saw one of my biggest problems with this thing is that every single time you want to move this back like these little shoulder pads will fire off the spring-loaded shooters that's such a stupid design choice it really 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 bothers me because like if you're pulling this thing off of the back of Jay's vehicle, you shouldn't have to be like angling it and going like, oh, I hope it doesn't hit that thing right there. Like, I'm ju I am just want to be able to swing it back and get it into a mech in like a second instead of having to worry about whether or not it'll fire off a shooter. So that's really irritating to me. Again, the entire look of this thing, it's just too big. I don't understand why it needed to be bigger than the last one. Let me bring in the other one for comparison. Like... The other one was the perfect size. This thing is just unnecessarily huge. Like, there's way too much going on with the arms. Like I said, it's more limited in its use because they just have one ball joint up there and then they have, like, this weird ratcheted joint. I really don't like that. I do like the way that they built, like, the little jet engine piece in here. And having the shooter mechanism is cool, but, again, I would have rather they left it out given how much it accidentally fires off. That's just really irritating. And then they also ha try to have like knee joints in here, but it doesn't work very well on this mech. It just kind of makes it harder to pose. 
and I really just prefer this one with like its two joints, one at the ankle, one down there. Because now, this one also has ankle joints, but you can't move it anywhere except side to side. And again, that just really bothers me, and I just don't know why LEGO felt the need to ruin a good thing. So here's Jay's thing, and again, if you grab it like by this piece, you can open it up. But it's just so much more boring than the 2014 version. Like, did you guys see how that worked? Like, just flip it open like that, and then it's like, like it barely pushes them open. It's not, it's not like it is on the 2014 version, which I will bring in for a side-by-side -side comparison, because I think that's really lame. It's also harder to grab the new version from the place where you want it to grab. So on the old one, you have this little rail piece right here. On the new one, it's like grab it by that piece, but it like it breaks off quite easily. So if you just compare them, like this one goes open pretty weakly, and then this one flips open a lot more violently, which makes this one a lot cooler because it's, and like there's more weaponry. It like splays it out more. It makes this vehicle bigger. Whereas on this one, it's just like, it doesn't come out enough. They're just too small. And then when they're closed up, it just looks chunky. So I really don't like that. I think the problem is that Jay's cockpit is way too high up, which you can see is an issue. So it doesn't have to travel a lot. And I really hate that. It should travel up quite far and flip these open. So yeah, I just, I don't like this set compared to the original. Like, it's just... It's just not as good, you know? Like, look at how chunky this is. Nothing lays flat. It flips open so easily. You don't have that problem on this one because it hides the weaponry so well. So this set is definitely the biggest misfire of the Legacy line. It's great that kids can get it now. And again, I still like Cole's mech on the new one. I've always liked Cole's mech. I always thought the original one was just so weird and cute. The new one isn't as small, but it's still a really interesting design. But the new, like, actual, like, Raider vehicle for Jay just sucks. I hate it. It's, like, it's not good. You can't, you don't get that same play feature. Like, when they're lying flat, they're too chunky. It's just not executed well, and I don't understand why, because they executed it well back in 2014. And I don't know, that's a pattern I've been realizing a little bit in some other sets, like in my Avengers Tower battle review. It's, like, same play features as the 2015 Avengers Tower, yet they're executed more poorly. So I understand that LEGO wants to keep doing new things, like they don't want to make the arms on the new Colmec the exact same as the ones on the old one. But I feel like you could have come up with a better design that wouldn't fire off the spring-loaded shooters every time you're trying to transform the vehicle. So it's just little missteps like that that really, really annoy me and that I think that they could have done better on. So I think the old one is much, much better than the new one. And the new one, to me, is the worst legacy set that they've made. Like, even worse than, like, the 4 Plus, like, Kai's Fire Dragon. At least that gave us a new mold for the Fire Dragon head. So th those are my thoughts. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Obviously, my nostalgia for the older one makes me more biased. But, I mean, I, like, I will gladly admit that some legacy sets are better than the originals. And this is one that I just don't think is the case at all. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll have more videos coming soon. Bye for now.